um, just popping in for a quick little intro to the intro. Um, I did just want to preface that in this video I go through my studying for our dental anatomy exam. It's a tooth ID exam and I, spoiler alert, do not pass the exam. But um, I was only like one question off from passing and passing at Michigan is a 70%. So just to preface that, everything I'm saying throughout this video I think is still good knowledge and it also if you are expecting dental anatomy exams coming up and you're also a D1 it's good to see what I did and then as I mentioned at the end of the video once I get my scores back and reflecting it's good to do what I did and then go one step beyond it and if you watch to the end of the video I explain how you can go further with your studying and how I think I should have studied so that I could have gotten a better score and also how I'm planning on studying for our next tooth ID exam which is next week for me and then we also have our final next week for me so I have two more chances to boost up my grade and I'm really sure I can do it especially if I work with my classmates and make sure that I really really understand all of the anatomical landmarks. So this is your little pre-intro. I just wanted to put kind of a disclaimer that this isn't all-encompassing, all the tips you need to know because obviously I'm learning as I go and I just want to be real with you guys when I don't score exactly how I want to but I'm trying to be positive and I think the next one will go better. So now into the original intro. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a couple days of me studying. Um, it's Wednesday and I have an exam tomorrow that's open all day so I can take it whenever. I think I'm planning on taking it pretty early in the day, but it is our first exam in dental anatomy. It's a tooth ID exam, which pretty much just means that we are given, there are 32 teeth in the mouth, just to preface this, because when I posted it on my Instagram story, by the way, follow me on Instagram, I post so many stories, and I have highlights and stuff for like studying, for D1 summer, for DAT, YouTube stuff, so many highlights, I'm big on the Instagram stories, but I got people responding to my story, and they were like, aren't there 32 teeth, but we get 25 questions on this exam, and it's 25 random teeth, we don't have to identify the third molars which are like your wisdom teeth at all so that already takes away four of the 32 and then so we're getting a random selection of 25 there could be repeats but I'm assuming there won't be and they're 3d scans of human extracted teeth so I've been studying for that over the past couple days not too much I made like a little study guide but I haven't really fully fully dove in and making sure that I can really differentiate between specifically for me the premolars are really tricky. I can tell it's a premolar, but determining if it's a first or second premolar and sometimes maxillar or mandibular is tricky. Um, I'm not too bad at left and right because usually the root curvature tells you, like it points towards distal. So that kind of, if you can picture it in your head, this is why the PAT section is so important on the DAT. But if you can picture kind of, um, let me pull up the bone box app. You're able to look at this and picture this mouth in your head when you're studying, you can see like all of these roots point kind of back towards the back of the mouth and the back of the mouth is distal. So I'm not the worst at left and right. I'm just more working on the different types of premolars. I usually get the canines right and incisors right as well. So I'm definitely getting there and I have pretty much a lot of today to study. I'm filming like way more videos than usual lately just because I wanna make sure I know what I'm posting during our little bit of a summer break between finals week, which is the end of this week. We have two weeks after that, so it's in. Next week and the following week are both filled with final exams, so I just wanted to make sure I knew what I was uploading during that time after that until we start in um, the first week of September. I can go to office hour in a little bit um, for dental anatomy at 11 and then literally just going to study the rest of the day and then also making sure that I finish some quizzes for the same class for dental anatomy. There's two quizzes left that I need to complete. And then, um, yeah, that's really it. I'm supposed to watch a lecture for oral facial function, which is usually pretty easy. So I might do that like while I eat my breakfast right now or something. And I'm pretty much just gonna kind of show you guys how I'm studying for the dental anatomy exam. You know that a lot of my friends that are D1s at other schools that I've like connected with on Instagram watch these videos and since we are kind of like a few months ahead curriculum wise, um, being that we started back in June, 
I want to make sure I can help you guys and give you any tips that I have for studying for different common first year dental school classes. Specifically, in this case, it's going to be dental anatomy. I'm 100% not a pro, but we also have a lot of resources that my classmates have made and shared in our Slack page. So, a couple people made good like study guides of like questions to ask yourself, like this or this. Okay, so then between this or this. Okay, so that means this is this type of tooth, this is this type of tooth. I tried to kind of make those myself yesterday, but I'm going to do that more today because I think that's the best way to differentiate between the teeth is to have kind of a list of questions in your mind to eliminate it's not this so it's one of these two and then how do you tell those two apart ask yourself another question so I'm gonna take you guys through kind of my thought process and my study guides and also obviously let you know how the exam goes tomorrow we do have a practice exam up which is helpful that I'm going to go through today as well um, the reason that's really helpful, like I was showing you before, this bone box app, those are completely digital teeth, like kind of the ideal anatomy of a tooth, whereas again, the ones on our exam and the ones on the practice exam are scanned of real teeth, which don't always have like perfect anatomy, so they're a little bit harder to identify. Just to preface, usually this class is obviously in person and you would be identifying like real teeth. We also have typodonts, which I've showed you guys before that I'm using a little bit to study, but since it is a digital exam, I'm really focusing on studying digital teeth just because that's what we're going to be presented in the exam, if that makes sense. But typodonts are so, so helpful for getting initial things down. And then if you're doing an in-person exam, you can take all the teeth out of the typodont and then like randomly pull them and try to differentiate which tooth is which, which is also a really great way to study. Okay, I will put in a screen recording in a little bit of my notes once they're like totally finished for you guys to look at. Um, by the way, I do not... 100% say that this stuff is accurate. It's just kind of some stuff from class, but also stuff that I noticed. So it could be not factual. So don't just like copy my notes, but it can be for more like inspo of maybe how to set yours up. But I just pulled all of the premolars out of our typodonts here. Our typodonts don't even have third molars on them, but I just pulled them all out here and I'm just going to work on identifying them based off of this little like flow chart that I made and ideally I'll be able to memorize this that way I can go into bone box here and bone box is really great because it has a quiz feature and it will quiz you on all 32 teeth and this one's multiple choice though and our exam is not we have to just know the number so you kind of need to be able to do even better than bone box but I'm going to work on that once I feel like I have the premolars and the molars down because again for me canines and incisors are pretty obvious I think so we will do some hands-on studying and then go back to the digital studying. Another thing I wanted to mention is that there's three numbering systems that exist. There's the um, FDI in Palmer, which is the green here, and the Universal, which is the orange, and we're being tested on Universal, which is what's used in the United States. And I just wrote out my arches on a little sticky note here. We are allowed to have this on the exam, I believe. I'm hoping I won't even need it though, because you can kind of figure out the numbers. Like I pretty much know like the wisdom teeth, and then I also know like the canines, and then from there, you really can just like count in one direction and it's not too bad so and you also like I feel everyone does this they like have their tongue in their mouth oh like seven eight nine ten like you count like on your own mouth with your tongue so I'll probably be doing that during the exam but obviously I'll keep my mouth closed I'm just telling and showing you guys probably too much information but anyways back to my teeth here. I'll update you guys how the learning of the premolars go. I don't know why they're the hardest for me. The molars really aren't that bad because the maxillary molars have three roots which make them super obvious and then mandibular just look like molars but they're not maxillary because they don't have three roots and then those are pretty easy for me to tell apart just based on the shape of the occlusal surface because one is more like square, not square, but like even, and then one is longer um, mesial distal. So 
that's how I tell those apart. So it's a bit later in the day and I took all of the teeth out of the Typodont. So this is all 28 of them again because it doesn't have the third molars. And I'm just going to literally grab a random one and try to identify it and give it its number in the universal system and see how I do. And then I'm going to do a bone box quiz again. I just did one and did pretty well on it. So I'm going to do another one and then I might do this one more time and then I'm going to do the practice test on Canvas that's actually provided by our professors. Depending how that goes, if it's successful, I'll probably stop studying. If it's not, I will continue studying. So there's this website called Sketchfab and I'm not showing the tooth just because they're scans of real teeth and I'm not sure if that's allowed. So anyways, the number of the tooth is under here. So I'm covering it up with the sticky note to kind of test myself. And then um, you can they're 3D so you can spin it all around on your laptop. And these are like the same images, not necessarily same images, but they're all scanned through the same program and look similar to this, the ones that are gonna be on our exam soon. And I have about two hours till the exam. It's 11 right now and I'm gonna take it around one. But yeah, I'm just testing myself more on the exact like format or style that these teeth are gonna look. So it's been like three hours since I took that exam. I was just decompressing. Um, it was pretty tough. So I don't have my score back yet, but just the program that they use, Sketchfab, and the scans that they had were just not <laughs> very clear to identify the teeth. Like you couldn't see all the landmarks that they gave us on the sheets of like, this is how you tell between the teeth. Like you couldn't see all the landmarks. So we'll see how that went. But I know I wasn't the only one that thought it was really tough. So at least I'm not like in the minority or anything, but we'll see when we get the scores back. Hopefully I passed, but we, aren't sure yet we have another tooth ID exam next week and then we have the final the week after so this was like 20% of our grade we'll see hopefully I can pass and if I don't pass this I'll have to really kick it into high gear for the next couple but um, if I get any more updates before this video gets posted I will put them in people might be interested in how they're testing you on dental anatomy when we're doing it from home like I said usually they would have physical teeth that we could look at from all angles but this one you couldn't Another thing that was tricky about this exam is that in Sketchfab you can rotate the teeth 3D, which is nice, but they rotate, like let's say you have it, they'll go like that much, but you can't do it like that, and sometimes they won't get into the exact way that you want. Like if I want to look at it from my view, seeing like the buccal surface with the two roots here and then the third root more posterior, I wasn't able to do that, so I couldn't like and put that in the maxillary view so then I couldn't look at the root angles the right way to see if it was a left or a right. So that made it tricky for quite a few of them. I couldn't get them in the right orientation to where they would have been in the mouth. That way I could visualize which side of the mouth they went on. So there's a good chance that I got some like correctly identified, like that it was a maxillary first premolar, but I didn't get the side right just because they weren't able to flip all the way that I wanted and I know a lot of people had that issue too it wasn't just me so we will see how the scores went this is not an exam update but you guys needed to see this incredible sunset tonight thought it might bring you some joy if you're watching this exam because you're studying and struggling or something but just remember that there is more to life than school and to be grateful for the things that you have is the little message I want to give. Hey guys, so it is the next day and we did get our scores back. I did want to update you about how it went. Um, I also just finished the review. We were allowed to log on and look at the answers. Um, it didn't give us the correct answers, but you could see which ones you got wrong and try to make some notes so that you could figure out what the right answer was. So I did end up not passing it. I missed one question like away from being able to pass but this class is only one credit and we have an extra credit opportunity that I'll be doing and then we also have quizzes um, every module that's 30% of our grade that you should get 100% on so that's already a good chunk of my grade plus the extra credit as long as I pass the final and the final tooth ID so two more exams I'll still be able to pass the class so I'm feeling okay and I know better ways to study I think it's important to make sure that when you're studying tooth ID that you're learning multiple features of the teeth, not just one distinguishing feature for yourself because it's a possibility that the tooth that you're looking at, since all teeth are a little different, might not have that one feature 
or that your teachers might even pick a tooth specifically that has something cut off of it like it has um, part of like one cusp missing or something to make it where you have to know the other features so I think I just didn't go in depth enough with my studying I was trying to find like one characteristic where I could tell them all apart which I could do but once I got to the exam sometimes those characteristics weren't as clear especially with the software that they used sometimes you couldn't see really clear ridges and margins which made it harder to distinguish um like which tooth it was or which side it went on i pretty much only got premolars wrong in like one molar so that tells me that i need to really study premolars more when it comes to the final and i think that it's going to be helpful for me to do this with a friend over zoom i just went over some of the stuff with my friend and roommate amanda that way like going through the molars a little bit just to study and to see what she uses to distinguish them and that was very helpful so i really recommend doing dental anatomy like tooth iding with a friend and going through the different features and trying to know every single feature that your professors give you not just one or two because that's the mistake i made so hopefully in a couple of vlogs from now when we go through finals week i can do better on the tooth id exam our next one as well as the final but that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope this gave you some insight on how you could prepare for your tooth id exams how to go a little above and beyond but i did and hopefully do very well i wish you guys good luck in all of your studying and whatever you're doing right now thank you again so much for watching and i will see you in the next video